Hello guys, Cinesmark is updating again right now because the last version unfortunately had way too many bugs in it. The people in the group kept rushing me, so here is the changelog for this update. I mainly removed the old method that was previously used for the GPU test. And so for this time around, we are actually going to be using the Unity engine in order to conduct the 3D scene test. Then, every single frame of the picture is rendered 15 times. So that means it is also utilizing an off-screen rendering method to handle the rendering process. You guys can take a look here. This right here is the log for everyone to take a look at. Now let me go ahead and show you exactly what the test results look like. First up is the normal single core test. Since I cannot fix it just yet, I have lowered the single core score weight for this version. Next up is the multi-core section. To prevent freezing, some threads will drop down while the high ones are basically running at a full load. Now we move on to the 3D visuals. The CPU might not be fully utilized here, but as you can clearly see with the GPU usage, for these 90 seconds, usage is at 100% and the frequency is maxed out. Moving on. This version mainly fixes some specific issues and it also upgrades the 3D test scene for better performance. You can see that right after the CPU test is completed, it will count down and then automatically enter the Unity Engine 3D test interface for the next section. And then, looking right up here at the top, we have the... Down below is the actual rendered frame rate you can get, and then this one right here is the screen frame rate. This is our set render multiplier, so currently the 9030 Pro can render about 100 frames or so in this specific scene that we are looking at right now. Then once this part finishes, we get an average frame rate, which is then used to calculate the final score for the device here. After testing, it shows the average frame rate and will adjust automatically after a moment. It calculates our total score automatically. Then you can go ahead and check the leaderboard to see the rankings. And right over here, you can also view your local test records to see exactly how your device performed in the past. Okay, let me tell you all how to join the test this time. Just like the last time, you just need to join our group to get access to the testing files and participate here. If you participated last time, you'll get the update automatically. If you haven't participated before, just join the group and wait for the invite link to appear there. That's it for this video. Any questions, leave them in the comments.